Здравствуйте! Hello, welcome everyone! Do you want to get the Street Brawler achievement in War Thunder, but do not know how? Easy, my friends. You only need to wait for the right moment, get your guts and go rumble. With any gun but reloads fast enough, it will be only a matter of time until you get this page. Well, of course, you will get busted most of the time. But you can't win unless you try it, okay? Good luck! Asu-57 Airborne self-propelled artillery unit designed specifically for the separate troops branch of the Soviet Army, which goes by the name VDV воздушно-десантные войска, aka Air Landing Forces. The Soviet Union was one of the first countries with such specialized units, and it is dated to the 2nd of August of 1930 when, after a massive paradrop training session, it was decided by the Soviet Army Command to organize the Special Army Detachments with some special training and special equipment. So, speaking of such equipment, here in Rwanda Thunder we have quite a peculiar battle unit, with the very lightweight carriage, quite comparable to the tankettes from the early 30s even before uh, the first tanks we have in War Thunder. Uh, Asu-57 was designed shortly after the Second World War. They have the engine from civilian car Gaz uh, M20 Pobeda, okay, Victory, giving it a massive kick of 50 horsepower and phenomenal torque power. 45 seconds till 100 kilometers per hour, but it was way too fast. So the maximum speed limit for ASU 57 was restricted to 45 kilometers per hour. You know, you know, we all need to care about emissions, carbon trace, and tetraethyl lead. So this Stalin stallion was handicapped by its own designers. <laughs> but really, all this was about the weight issue. Asu guns were made for paratropping. Those things were supposed to be operated behind enemy lines, not in front of it. In a way, you can see Asu-57 as an antipode to the early heavy tanks like Cave, Biadin Peace or Matilda, considering its battle role and characteristics. There we have zero armor, low profile, decent maneuverability and a gun that can beat any of those named heavies even to the frontal projection uh, with some luck and yeah it is almost a common sense opinion but uh, the middle column in the soviet research tree is all bad right until the bmp1 well i beg to differ in my case all the line plays pretty well right from t60 to Su-85 and Su-100P, with the only exception for PT-76P, which is really not too bright. <clears throat> On the game's current conditions, of course. Uh, of course, uh, even in Su-57, you will die pretty soon. So, if you like realistic mode it might be a bad idea to bring it to the battle especially if you don't like to sit under one tree or stone for all game long but can't really go intimate without some armor but uh, speaking of the main battle mode of today arcade mode uh, Asu is just as effective as any other light tank or support unit if not better uh, yeah it can be destroyed with any machine gun, especially from the sky, but thanks to the low profile and the gun that can 
actually bite it's the right aim uh, you can do some nasty things both from the distance and up close uh, in fact it is one of those vehicles what are somewhat rare on the field so many players don't even know how to destroy it effectively mm, it is the most common scenario for light things like a zoo in battle shortly after the start of the battle you need to look for those stupid tanks what are running wild somewhere where you can shoot them uh, if you were lucky and made two good hits in the arcade uh, you can pick then some assault plane and again if you'll be any lucky you get some more hits from up above then well uh, then you'll most likely die But it doesn't mean that ASU 57 is only good as a rat. It is agile. It has a decent and fast enough gun to go to the close quarters sometimes. Take a look at this. Again, a very standard opening for this map. We got A, we got C, and we're about to meet on B point. My teammates actually drive quite irresponsibly they were slightly pushing me and messing with my aim so I haven't had time to shoot uh, at this time uh, and uh, also had to move back a bit to avoid a um, artillery barrage After that, uh, see, I'm dealing with Matilda. And then two light prison tanks were trying to corner me. <laughs> Uh, then I saw this third Panzer in front of me, but was actually killed from behind. So, when you hear someone calling ASU-57 a rat, remember that rats can bite even harder when you 
near. So please show some respect. This vehicle wasn't supposed to fight face to face with heavy armor tanks, but it doesn't make it bad. It is a decent vehicle for its battle rank and its battle role, and uh, of course, uh, the uh, KV1 or T34, uh, you have uh, much more versatile units, but really. It is only a matter of effort. KV-1 is the easy way. ASU-57 is much harder, but uh, looking at statistics, it gets the job done. Well, there are hundreds of different battles and battle vehicles in War Thunder. You can play any, you can hate any. Just be ready for the next fight. See you on the battlefield. Goodbye.